GM, Birdo here from Talisman. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your ledger with a brand new install of Talisman and then how to stake any dot you may have on the ledger with the new Talisman one-click staking solution that we just announced. First things first, let's open Ledger Live and make sure that the software itself is up to date and make sure the firmware is also up to date. You can see I'm on version 104. Make sure the Polkadot app is installed and also up to date. Now, if you're using a Ledger Nano S, you will need to make sure you get the Polkadot XL app uh, from the list in here. If you don't, you won't be able to stake and you'll get an error uh, when you try. So this all looks up to date. The next step is to head to the Talisman website. So I'm on talisman.xyz uh, and I can click download. This will take me through to the Chrome store. When that loads, check uh, that the listing is correct. Um, you can check this address here, this uh, URL, or you can check uh, the number of reviews and the number of users. It should be around 57 and 10,000, just to make sure you're on the correct listing. Click Add to Chrome and Add Extension. That will download and this will pop up. So I'm going to create a new Talisman wallet uh, and a, add a password and click I agree and my wallet will be set up. Great. The next step is to click add account in the left hand side and I get presented with a few different options. I'm going to select import from ledger. Now it's going to ask me to select a network and make sure that the Polkadot network is selected. Uh, you can see here. Now it says Polkadot ready and I can select the network Polkadot and it says successfully connected. Easy. Click continue. Now one of the really nice things about the way we have integrated Ledger is that you can see all of the different accounts on your Ledger device through Talisman. So I can keep clicking load next forever and it will keep loading in uh, more and more different wallet addresses. So I'm going to import the first ledger account that has funds and the third ledger account that has funds and click continue. Uh, these are now imported into Talisman and you can see if I click in the top left I have my ledger Polkadot 1 and my ledger Polkadot 3. So it was the first derivation and the third derivation that I imported. Great, now let's stake. So we'll open app.talisman .xyz forward slash staking uh, and when I launch that page uh, I will need to connect my wallet. I get a prompt like so. I'm going to uh, authenticate both uh, one and three and click connect and you can see I'm already staking actually on ledger polkadot one that first account uh, but if I want to stake on the second account I will click polkadot three and it'll show me here the available I have to stake. For me, it's 1.469 DOT. Now we're already removing the transaction fee and we're already removing the one DOT that you need to hold on your account minimum. Uh, so I'm going to stake one DOT. You can see here I can select the pool, but we'll automatically select the best pool for you. At the time of recording, uh, this first talisman pool has seven, almost seven and a half thousand DOT uh, with 72 members contributed. But if I want, I can pick a different pool. Talisman will also present a few different pools that it thinks are a good option as well here. So I can choose one of these, but for now, I'm just going to leave it at Talisman Pool 1. I'm going to click Stake. This will pop up the uh, Talisman wallet uh, asking me to authenticate this request. Uh, you can see I'm uh, using Ledger Polkadot 3, which is correct, and I can click View Details, uh, and you can see the address, the network, the fees, uh, and the method which is nomination pools join and the pool ID which is uh, 12 which is this talisman pool one. I can click close and open the pocket app on my ledger. So let's do that and it's asking me to then approve from the ledger. Uh, so you can see on the ledger it says please review probably a little bit hard to see but as I cycle through this is saying uh, the nomination pools join and the amount one dot and the pool ID which is 12 and then approve which I'm going to do uh, and you can see that the transaction has been uh, submitted and pending confirmation uh, the UI is already updated so it actually knows that I'm already staking uh, give this a second 
great the transaction was successful uh, I can view the details on subscan if I want to here I can click the portfolio page or click up here and then you can see here I'm staking with ledger polka dot three uh, in the first talisman pool with one dot uh, and then in the future I'll be able to unstake it and if I want to add to that stake I can also do that via here that's about it if you have any questions uh, or comments please reach out on Twitter or discord uh, get in touch uh, hopefully this helps thanks very much